previously on It's Me, I'm Alex. Make love. Make love. Eat themselves? What? 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 Is this a real game? This has to be a real game. Two-thirds of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Only one percent of the water is what? Being retained by my Aunt Selma. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm really just big bones. Uh... I, I would say one percent of the water is, is probably fresh water. Agree. Uh -huh. Watch your back. Watch your back. <laughs> Yeah, watch your back. Um, on this stream I mostly play games that are old. Sometimes I play games that aren't super old, but it seems more often than not that I am, so. But sometimes I draw pictures, sometimes I sing. Never been known to dance, but we're working on changing that, so. All right, it looks like we get like three <laughs> we squads of pain. What is wrong with me? Okay, three. That is not how I talk. Wet ducks in your area are waiting to quack your quacks. Oh, <laughs> I need. Uh, I get all flustered when I talk about wet. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm gonna start this over. Sorry. It's broken. I'll be right back. It's not just me who lives here. I live with four other puppets. Well, I live, I live with four puppets. Whoa. Oh, hey, good evening. What up? How's it going? It's me. I'm Alex. Thank you. 
Thanks. How's it going, everyone? What's up, Buried Animal? I have been enjoying my new car that I got from the game we were playing last night. As most of you know, whenever I win something in a video game, I also win it in real life. Everything is real in this universe, so, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. They have to do it. So, I hope everyone is having a good night. Um, we normally start the show off on the stage. But since it's such a late night show, um, and we normally haven't been doing shows two nights in a row, although that's about to change. But, uh, <laughs> right, my you don't know, Jack, that were, were pretty bad last night. Yeah, the stage is being used tonight, unfortunately, by the Black Tree Falls Ballet um, company. So they're over there rehearsing, so I couldn't do my monologue, and I know that the focus groups are saying that the best thing that people will like about the new It's Me, I'm Alex is the, the monologue. You know, I get out there on the stage and I, you know, tell you guys what's, what I'm going to be doing, even though I'll probably tell you again when I get over here to the desk. But it's a good time, right? You know, it's a whole, you know, we, we have fun, right? No. Yes, we do. Nope. Shh. The pen condition, man, right? I'm glad that it's stuck in your brain like it has ours and Jerry's. You know, there he was, like, what, 30, 40 years later, working for Showbiz Pizza, and he, he can't stop thinking about that fifth birthday he had, where they had the cartoon of the balloon man, or the pincushion man, so, good stuff. Um, I think I'll start off with a game of Millionaire tonight. I have like a, another game I was going to play, but a game of Millionaire shouldn't be a bad way to start, right? Let's see. And since I'm such a seasoned who wants to be a millionaire player, I just call it by its nickname. Us, us millionaire players, you know? We don't have time to say the whole, the whole name, so.
hope the controller is good. I'm ready. Tonight's gonna be the night that I do it. If I win the million dollars, I could stand to lose a hundred games of it of you don't know Jack. So Okay, how many players do we have? Just me. Thanks. All alone, huh? You're welcome. Do you need to go over the instructions? No. We know we all know how to play. You just answer questions with the correct hey, answer. A L Hey, good job, buried animal. You're right. Hey, thanks a lot. Now we can get started. Who told okay, you? Let's play. I'm just kidding. Now, there we go. Question number one. Basketball. Which of these expressions refers to a shot that uses the backboard? It's like off the glass, right? Robbing the bank? No. Going with off the glass. Taking your chances on answer B. I'm not taking a chance. You are correct. I'm a big b-ball player, so like. Well, you're off and running, but that was pretty easy, wasn't it? You know, I know the. Two hundred dollar question is more of a challenge. Vernacular. According to a popular phrase, a person who achieves success through others is riding their coattails. X. X. Final answer? X. X. Well, you're thinking it's answer D. Okay. I do. D? Yeah. You're absolutely right. Hey, what's up, BP? Hope you're enjoying your tea. That's well, awesome. But let's see what our three hundred dollar question BP has posted a you. picture of his brand new cup. It's me, I'm Alex Cup. On the Discord. According to a popular phrase, if things are going well, the world is your shrimp. I'm just kidding. It's your oyster. You're thinking answer C. Well, all right. I'm no one answer C. 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 You're on your way for five hundred dollars. Here we go. In the electronic device VCR, the R stands for recorder, I believe. Video cassette no recorder. That's my final answer. You think answer B will work out for you? I hope so. B. B. You got it. See, I'm doing pretty good tonight. All right, we're at five hundred dollars, going for one thousand. Do Take it. According to a popular saying, "As ye sow, so so shall ye reap." Right? You sow what you reap. So, 
Pizza D is the one for you. Fair enough. You, you sow what you shrimp, y'all. Yes, you got it right. Yes. You sow what you shrimp. We got 1,000 shrimps. Whoa. Hey, you're one third of the weight of the million dollars. Cool. And here's your next question. Okay. $2,000. In the nineteen sixty seven song Lovely Rita is a meter maid, right? Should I call a friend or should I like fifty fifty or should I just like let the time run out? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Make it She's a meter maid. Wanna go ahead and make that your final? I don't know, you y'all, you y'alls. Well, no, it's my final answer. You're thinking answer C. Well, all right. Lovely Rita, meet up. When you're right, made. you're right. Nothing can come e. between us. When it gets dark, I. To your heart, uh, you're on a roll. Way. Now let's see how good you are with your four thousand dollar question. Mm. Four. I got this. Four. Which of these movies is not on a submarine? Um. Uh Okay, which lifeline would you like to use? I'm gonna ask the computer audience. You don't have to pick a lifeline if you don't want to. That's fine. No, I I did. No. Okay, which lifeline would you like to use? I press circle. You wanna ask the audience? Or yeah. Okay. They really... D. 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 Hmm, looks like we have a pretty clear choice here. You have 15 seconds to answer. D. D? Wait, I could have answered that. Well, Apocalypse Now. Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yes, that's it. Yes. Uh, apocalypse. I, just, I was thinking. I wasn't using my noggin. That's my very God. Nice. I just hadn't eight, seen the other place. three movies. The and then I gave dollars. up and didn't even look at the last one. Aww. Thank you, Brown Pants, for gifting that subscription to Buried Animal. Which of these is most likely to use a lath as a part of her profession? A barber. Final answer? Thanks, BP. B. B. What's happening? What's up? Is that the wrong answer? Not doing anything, I'll give you another ten seconds to think about it because you don't seem so sure. Yeah. Is that wrong? Is it Carpenter? I'm gonna ask. Okay, which lifeline would you like to use? On a call. Not gonna pick a lifeline. Okay. I think buried animals is my lifeline. Good gamble to you. You're absolutely right. Thank you, buried animal. If I win the million dollars, I'll give you. Um. We'll talk to my lawyer.
outstanding eight correct answers in a row. You know, take a look at your $16,000 question. I'll give you eight shrimp. Eight shrimps. You get one million shrimps. In the movie Jackie Brown, it's an adaptation of what Elmore Leonard novel? Oh God. Dude. Fine, which lifeline would you like to use? Let's put in a call to Bernie. He's a talent agent in Los Angeles. Knows the business like nobody else. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Bernie. How you doing? Marvelous. Pull up Wikipedia, Bernie. People into the brightest stars in town. Oh, but enough about me. Tell me how you're doing. Oh, all right. I guess you know I've got a question for you. Of course. I'm always here to help you. Let's just. It's rum punch. When your contract is up. Okay. Okay. Take a look at this. Well, that's only one of the greatest movies ever made. You know, in, in recent days. I wouldn't dream of calling anyone but you. Or a question like this. My professional opinion is to go with answer D. Hey, you've been great. Thanks a lot. Of course, Regis. Bye bye. Bernie is taken with answer D. Are you? Yep. Final? Yup. Yep. You're thinking my friend is right about this one. Okay. Well, also my audience. Was you are so right. Sweet. Doing it. Well, now you're only one question away from that second safe haven. Okay. Answer this one correctly, and you'll walk away with at least thirty-two thousand dollars. Got it. Hope it's another Beatles question. Who prosecuted John Scopes in the 1925 monkey trial? It was Clarence Darrow, right? One after. You like the look of answer A, huh? Sixteen Magna Carta. It. No. Right Who is William Jennings Bryant? No, because hey, the hey, Mandela effect. You at the top of Does this pizza? game I know that's enough to make you want to take back. into account the Mandela effect? Who wants to be a millionaire? They went evolving BP without the permission of their ancestors Dang. music is something serious Baron Stay I name That's pretty close to how it is in the dimension that I'm from. I got this PS1 version of Family Feud, but every time I play it, Louis Anderson ask me the same creepy question but i'm gonna give him one more chance that's it if louis anderson starts talking to me about talking to me about little girls and i love louis anderson too but we'll see Maybe he'll behave tonight.
He just sometimes asks really creepy questions in this game. Well, just one. One creepy question, but he asks it, like, every episode. Like, it's weird. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can All go right. to our Create Your Family selection. Do we still have the Alex family? We should. Backstage. All right. You need to pick a family. I think that's the Alex family. Hopefully. Or is it just going to be the family one family? Because that can't be right. Nope. That looks... looks about right to me. Okay. Oh! Uh, on! Uh, on! Uh. Come on, Louie. Don't be lame. And aggressive is how they describe themselves. They join that's, us from that's the us. Peach State. Give them a hand, family number one. We're the Alex family, but family They're number one well is fine. And courteous. And hail from Maine. Give a big welcome to family number two. Yay. Two. We're family number one, so. Our two families will be doing battle for big bucks on the Family Feud. Here he is, the host of the Family Feud, Louie Anderson. Let's do it, Louie. Don't make it weird. To the feud. We've got a great game lined up for you. Let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. A hundred people survey. We've got their top five answers up there. Good got luck. it. Ready? Ready. Name something that looks better on young girls than it does on older women. First question. Okay, family number First two. question. My God. Let's just get through this. Is there? Let's see. Let's get through it. Maybe because I quit every time we get to this question. Yeah. It doesn't save and good answer. But there's a couple I'm boycotting the so question. But maybe if we get through it, it'll save in the system that we've Family done. I have to... <sighs> Science. Right? Better hurry up. There. Time's running out. How do I? Okay. Because, you know. Is it there? Let's see. They can do science, Fawful, but also young, young women can do science so that they can no. grow into old women who do science, too. I can't believe it's not there. Sorry. So. What will it be? Play or pass? Oh, my God. You gonna play? All right. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? <laughs> Name something that looks better on young girls than it does on older women. My God. Good answer. Good Is answer. It? Is it up there? Is Maybe they mean 
No. Exactly. No. I just like no. No. Next player. Let's go. This guy knows. Name something that looks better on young girls than it does on older women. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. Yes, indeed. My God. This is awful. Next family member. What do you say? Name something that looks better on young girls than it does on older women. Do they just, you know, let's just... Okay, show me the answer. When they say young girls, they mean like... Mini skirt. Young women, right? Like 20-somethings, right? Our number one answer. That's what they mean, even though that's not a good thing to call 20-something women as okay. young girls. But like Name something that looks better on young girls Infants than whose women. skulls have infused Well I think Survey that's who down. made this Version of The family feud Ribbons and bows See like you sure nailed that They're one. talking well about done. children What the Hell it, family number two. Well done. This is Just Messy. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Um, it can't get any worse than that, right? Couldn't possibly. You're playing well, family number two. Keep it up. Couldn't possibly get any worse. I don't think. Let's go. It's time for round two. Internet's being weird. Two more players and we can get going. Let's do it. A hundred. Are you guys still out there? Up on the board. We're looking. My for internet. The most popular answer. This. Did a thing. You ready to do this? Who was the last person you lied to? Um, Time's up. Sorry. Okay. Thanks, Barry. Let's animal. try this again, and we'll put up another survey on the board. Thanks. And two. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers up on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Both families ready? Ready. What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos? Eyebrows. Your answer, family number two. Right. Is it? Is it there? Show us! Shoes. Oh, it's shoes because, like, she had, like, a... Uh, a giant shoe Good collection. Guess, no, sorry. Family number one, you try. That was like scandalous or something. What do you think it is, family number one? Show me shoes. I hope it's up there for you. Number one. Ha! Ah. Shoes. Yes, indeed. Our top answer. Way to go. Yes. What are you going to do? N. D. I'm play.
There's the internet. Internet came back, but the game froze up. Hello. Inter the internet and the game froze at the same time, and it was causing me confusion. But I guess we can say goodbye to the Louis Anderson PlayStation Family Feud game. It froze up. It still just gives out one awful question. And it's never going to change. Always the same. I just know, know things, you know, buried animal. All right, I'll be honest. The reason I, reason I even know about Imeldo Marcos is because in the 60s, the Beatles were going to go to the Philippines, or they went to the Philippines. And they were invited to a special dinner with Imelda Marcos. And the Beatles were like, you know, we don't want to go. So they didn't go. And Imelda Marcos got very upset about it. And then the police in the Philippines were very aggressive with the Beatles and it was like a whole big thing. You know, that's a good idea. I'm so fascinated with Beatles trivia, but I never really thought about listening to their music which could be good too they have some of the best trivia but I never really thought about how good their music might be I'm gonna try this out since since the mill the what you call it game broke yep they're looking at Mario's you know what let me do my Chris Pratt Mario impression hold on <clears throat> here we go come on come on everyone we're going. Here we come. Here. Here we come. There we go. There. There we are. Here we come. There we. There we be going. Let's go play some tennis. The... Here we go. Okay, so Wario and Luigi were now we play tennis. Let's go to the 
small screen since there's plots going on, I guess. I don't want to cover up everything, cover up the screen. We missed some something. Tennis. What does all that have to do with? Like. You picked a winner. Oh. So they're covered in bandages. They're Oh, they have like a magic tennis racket. Okay. Okay. Because that now they're covered in it. Because of the magic tennis racket, I guess. Huh? Here we go. Oh. Uh, Luigi. Luigi. This is quite heavy for like a Mario Tennis game. Right? Oh man, that tornado was intense. Really messed up the stadium. I still can't believe that happened. It's like a real life nightmare. That's what I like in my tennis games. I don't see Luigi and the others anywhere. Where could they be? I guess some good old tennis could solve the magic tornado. I have a bad feeling about this. Wario and Waluigi were even more suspicious, suspicious than usual. Really? At this point, they're just like Wario and Waluigi are just a little suspect, you know, not like all the way, but like. Yeah. Sounds crazy. I believe it was the racket's grip tape that wrapped up poor Luigi. Grip tape. That's what it was. Got it. Toad, you know something, don't you? That winning smile came full of me. Over. <laughs> That's what Toad sounds like. Marge Simpson from The Simpsons. You're right, Fawful. What, he owns like that gaming company that makes the micro games is that what you're talking about well it's just a rumor they say the asylum was once home to the prosperous kingdom of basque Aww. a job creator huh of course basque ruins is in the desert nope let me try that again of course, Basque Ruins and in the desert is a relic that once great kingdom. What? Basque Ruins in the desert is a relic of that once great kingdom. English is hard. You gotta know when to put the emphasis on the right letters, right? I hear archaeologists went there recently to research it. Yeah. 
Tennis was very popular in the kingdom of best. The ruined walls were are filled with paintings of people playing. Among those wall paintings is one that's very strange, to say the least. Wow, it's a spooky racket floating in the sky with people bowing down before it. Almost looks like the racket is controlling them. Whoa. Whoa. A racket with mind control powers. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute. So many words. This is more words than like Pokemon. Wait a minute. Are you suggesting that Luigi and the others are being controlled by an almighty tennis racket? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. We can't rule it out for now. Maybe we can find out more at the Basque Ruins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're right. Let's go. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. That sounds dangerous. Too dangerous for important diplomats like you two. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Princess Peach and Princess Daisy, please allow Mario and I, I. to go investigate on your behalf. Besides, it's possible Luigi and the others will turn up. Turn up. Like Mario 2. While we're gone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's true. In that case, we leave this important task to you, dear friends. We won't let you down, said Toad. Come on, Mario. And that's how I say Mario. Now I s I'm a Mario person. Deal with it. Let's head for that desert right away, Mario. Please don't put yourselves in danger. We'll be waiting for awaiting your safe return. Ow. You're no stranger to adventure, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Please, just bring Luigi back safely. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't want to add some more Exposition Toad? Sure thing, Princess. We'll be sure to bring Luigi back safely. And we'll be sure to have a big party afterwards with cake and ice cream. And you can also compete in free player swing mode. Okay. Are we. Oh! It's given me the power to control the game. Look at that. And that's the Basque Ruins they were talking about. Stop right there. Oh, do we get another cutscene that I have to read? Past here is Basque Ruins, unless you have important business there better scram but we need to investigate the inside of the this is Mario Tennis right did I I was gonna we're investigating can you let us through pretty please I guess well why why not? 
You don't seem like troublemakers, but you should know that vast ruins can only be entered by those who can play tennis. Whoa. Whoa. Just so happens. So if you want to pass through, you have to prove yourself by beating me in a, a match. A tennis match. Looks like we have no choice, said Toad. Wait, Mario, Mario, said Toad. We can't move forward unless we beat this guy in tennis. Nope. Nope. Let's do this. Let's go save our brother through our game of tennis. I'm glad that this game has a plot to immerse us in the world of tennis. Because real tennis is serious business. I'm sure, you know, like people who play tennis, sometimes crime happens and you have to, you know, still play tennis. Before we start, I see you have proper tennis attire. That's no guarantee you can actually play. I'm going to teach you the basics of tennis before the match. It's only fair since I'm a pro. Comes a ball of toss. I can toss that ball. Thanks. After tossing it, hit it while it's in the air to serve. You just got served. Looks like I've got a knack for this. Now try hitting back your opponent's shot. It's called a return. Don't forget to let the ball bounce before returning a serve. Okay. It's against rules to return a serve without letting it bounce. Do that and your opponent will get the point. I'll try to return it. Okay. Okie dokie. Did I okie okay, it's dokie? That's the stuff after the serve you and your opponent will. Yeah, it's called playing tennis. Or is hitting the ball to and fro and scoring any points. You need a bit of strategy if you want to win. Aim for a spot far away from the opponent and then move left to right. Today. You want more speed? Press the button twice for a faster shot. And the ball pass zero and charge shot press build power. Well, we'll try this and they'll do the same thing. Now you know that how to play tennis, let's play. We know everything there is to know about tennis now. It's time. Tennis time. Dang it. I don't love that. How? I didn't even. But... 
No. Match point. Already. All right. Game set and match Dang it. Don't lose your head. Lost his head. Now I gotta do it over. But when? Make me go through all that text again. Let's make me go through the whole tutorial. I'll win it this time. No, that is not how we win by losing. Oh, he hit me. Is that a f he gets points for hitting me? Yes. That's not cool. This game is violent. Dude, he's doing it on purpose. Dry Bones is just hitting me with the ball on purpose. He's bullying me. Do I do I get a bully report or anything? Thank you. H R. H R. Match point. Game set and match. Dude. Am I just not cut out for tennis anymore? I mean... Yeah, anymore, Fawful. You know, I used to... I used to be the, the pro. A pro, right? You know? They, they'd be like, old tennis ball head. They used to call me old tennis ball head Alex. And so I thought that was because of how good at tennis I was. But I guess, I guess not. mind for the game. I do. I do. I think about it often. See, like, when he hits it all the way over there, like, my arms aren't even that long. How do you, people even play this game? In real life and in video games. I don't... Ah! I... 
hate. Hate 15. Dude, he hit me with the ball. You can't do that. It hurts. Ha, who's getting points now for the first time? Me? Better, better lock down your balls, cause This is it. Four. Four. That's golf. Four. Ah. Two. Deuces. But this. This is showing that I'm, I have, I have what they call promise, right? I have promise. Ooh. Showing a lot of promise, kid. Match point. There it goes. Prepare to meet. Your maker. Son of a... Not deuces. Ah. No. No. This is my game to win, and I'm gonna. Match point. This is. Deuce. Deuces. like a good game right like like I kind of held my own for a second there yeah I'm gonna I don't know what does that mean good game it's close enough I'm gonna assume that means good game awful right 
I'm gonna do it one more time. And now that I know what I'm doing, watch. Here we go. Here we go. See, I wasn't doing my Chris Pratt Mario voice, so that's why. Here we go. Time to go. Here we come. Not really, but I bet if I start doing that, then I will have a better chance. I had to get my bearings pressing a button, which I think I have now. And now I can press all the buttons. Lob that ball over there. I sure didn't miss that one, but it, it doesn't count. Now it's time to play for real. I lobbed the ball that time and I failed. That was my fault. Oh my God. So close. I was so close. Uh, uh, don't call it a comeback. Game set and match receiver. Don't you dare call it a comeback. All right, one more time. For real. For real. <laughs> Thank you, Fawful. <laughs> Just keep pressing A, get through this. Come on, we're doing it. We're doing it. Why is it making me go through this tutorial part every time? I know all this stuff. I know it doesn't seem that. The drop shot when he's standing in the back. Okay. Let me see when it shows all the buttons. The drop shot is... Okay, that's the grind button from Tony Hawk. So hold back and grind. All right, got it. And I have to press it twice? Is that right? No, that's just for the powerful shot. Okay. Ah! I don't, I don't know, I don't. But. Match point. 
it wouldn't be so bad if it didn't just make me go through that tutorial every time. It makes me like I'm never going to get through this ever. I have to get through it off the air to even. Game set and match yeah. Like if I ever, I'm going to have to practice getting good at Mario Tennis off the air. Get through the damn tutorial stage before I can even play it. Because this seems like it would be fun, but I'm apparently just not good at it, right? I'm just, I'm just bad at Mario Tennis. Is that, do I just accept that and move on? Does that have to be my final fate? Is that I'm just not going to ever be good at it? Because I don't like that. I want to I wanna play and be better. Well, buried animal, the Basque ruins are just going to have to deal with it, I reckon. Because... I can't even get through to the dang tutorial. It's only for people who know how to play tennis. Well, I know the rules, kind of. But I just can't execute them. If you dress like you played, know how to play tennis, they say that 90% of the job is wearing the uniform. I don't think that's what they say. I believe that's... Well, it got him a chance to play. He did lose to a naked skeleton who is also dead, by the way. Can we at least, you know, question whether or not there was magic involved? Like, how do we know Jari Bones wasn't using magic to make me not be, he's a bad guy. He's, he works for Bowser. How do I even know Jari Bones is playing fair? I don't. You miss 90% of the Clarence Darrow's you don't shrimp. That's right. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna watch five minutes of classic It's Me, I'm Alex clips while I take a, a short break to see a a man about a horse. We're trying to get a horse on this show. So the man is here and I'm going to go see him about it. And um, y'all watch these clips for five minutes. I'm going to come back and finally beat Spelunky. You know, I've been playing Spelunky for like a decade now. And I think tonight's the night. So, we're going to switch to the Clippy screen, and then I'll be right back, and we're going to play some more games. But thank you for watching so far, and uh, I'll be back real soon. Alright, so... Previously on It's Me, I'm Alex. Here we are in the backyard. Neat. And it's like daytime. You see, like.
All right. Well, on the count of three, blow out the candles. One, two, three. Yay! Happy January birthday to anybody who had a birthday this month and. Did you. Was that a, the dinosaur that you were. Uh, we lost the call. I think Kai uh, got eaten by a dinosaur. Poor thing. If you were hunting near Sesame Street and you shot Big Bird, what color feathers could you stuff your pillow with? Is this thing asking what color Big Bird is? Is that, is that hard trivia? Like who the hell doesn't know? That's like asking what color is, you know, my hair. Like literally. Who provides the voice of Kermit the Frog? Oh, we hear it. It's me. I'm Alex. Appreciate people who like us. I mean, I don't think the 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 old lady who who clung to the side of a of a rocket ship. I don't think she would be afraid of a tornado. You, I, I feel like fluff, fluff, <laughs> <laughs> fluff, fluffle. I feel like fluffle. <laughs> trying to <laughs> fly. <laughs> is this a game? Oh no, this is not a game, Cookie Bots. I take this very seriously. I live, eat, and breathe. It's me, I'm Alex. This is not a game. Level one. Hey, I think it was. Alright, so I control the little green ball. Okay. This is kind of bonkers. I think you guys would agree. Oh, I guess that was a bad guy? One. Oh. It is the Yeti of the Wild Frontier Running through the city and fucking up your cats Eating up the hot dogs, fucking up the shit It's the Yeti Okay I do know that song. Don't know how I know it. Welcome to It's Me, I'm Alex. My name is Alex. Mario Brothers. Y'all want a Nintendo? Hey. Beep beep. Everybody. Beep beep goes to Nintendo. How does the Nintendo go? Blaster zappers. There we go. 
sometimes the curtain gets stuck, but we fixed it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to It's Me, I'm Alex. The Yeti game, I remember, was for like the Game Boy Advance. And I only played it that one time, Urban Yeti. But I should probably re explore it sometime because it was, um, it left an impression. So I've played a lot of games on this show and I don't remember. Like one time I started a playthrough of uh, A Link to the Past, you know, Zelda for the Super Nintendo. And then like six months later, I'm like, did I start a playthrough of A Link to the Past? But then I started playing a Breath of the Wild and now that's got all of our Zelda games on lockdown. I gotta play some of that soon. We only have like one more giant robot to defeat before we get to Ganon. So like getting there, getting pretty close. But in the meantime, I got this game of Spelunky that I've been trying to, to beat. Just, I get, I'm better. If you went back to like the earliest episodes of me playing Spelunky, one could say that my technique has improved. Like, I run a whole lot more now than I used to. Used to, when I played the game, I'd, I would never push the run button. And now I'm just, like, throwing my character around like he's uh, a bag of rice or something, you know? Who should I pick, Seymour? One eye. One eye. You can't say Psy Clops. One eye. Psy Clops. I. One. That's close enough. You did win. Yep. Time to splunk to the top or the bottom. out with me. You never know. You never know. Seymour, was there a bat? Oh, that was a rat that was behind your head. Oh, I thought I could make it. Playing this game a decade and still don't know how far I can jump down. Like a noob. Or the trajectory of a thrown arrow. This is why we're... This is why we are 
where we are. Careless mistakes. Song good. I was like a burner. You know, they say burn one. You know, when you're playing cards or whatever. It's always good to burn your first spunky level that they give you. You know, just in case. fruitless level but we survived it all of us together That's a snake pit, I think. There's the key to that chest. We we'll want that there. Ooh, it's a poison spitting snake. I'm bonk it on the head. Just like that. I'd say that was a, su a su success. It is me, and it is you. Welcome to It's Me, I'm Alex. And we got the ding pickaxe. Merry Christmas. We're gonna call this my Christmas run because I got four health I got my pickaxe five health probably now what could go wrong it's gonna be a dark level no cool ha the spider almost got me This might be my day. Not today, bat. Well, that was just... I still got five health. Poor health. Oh, I see. I got batted by the bat. So. Still doing good, though. 
except I got two ropes. Could use more ropes. Or. Are these skeletons after me tonight? Could use one of those storefronts so I could buy some gear. Ha ha. Nice. Anything over here worthy of? Ooh, what if it's ropes? It's a parachute. My ties and Mimosas. What is it? Is it my ties and mimosas? Or. Wait, it's. Dun, dun, dun. And my tie. We're getting paid. We need a store. Pretty sweet. Where's that door? Get the guy down there. It's pretty hairy down here. Is that back gonna go? He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He... This is the most money I think I've ever gotten. I haven't seen a store though. It's ridiculous. All this money and nowhere to spend it. I'm probably gonna die immediately in here. I mean, how much longer can this Pickaxe last. Let's 
I'm... Dead. Already. Is that the door between those two bladed... Is that even legal? How? How is that even... I did it. I... I... I did it. You saw that. It's probably the best Spunky I'm ever going to play, so y'all soak it up, because this is... Dang. Well, she sold hearts. That. That. Do I want the freeze ray? I mean, that pickaxe has to be dying soon. Oh, wait. Sorry. want to buy it. Sorry. <laughs> I almost walked out with the freeze ray. I would have died. I would have been... Uh. Oh, this has the bees in it. We're dead. We're already dead. Yep. All those bees, look at that. There's just no way. Well. No way. There's just no way that I just force gumped my way through that level like just like I owned it like oh I'm Forrest Gump I can just run through a football field look I can play Splunky I don't know much about the snails. Oh yeah, I got climbing gloves. Oh, it's the Boomerang Brothers. At least I had that parachute. Don't I have a compass? Hey, what's up, Loki? Where's my compass pointing? How come I don't see a compass pointing anywhere? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh. <laughs> see more. No. Nope. Stop hiding my compass. Thanks, Waffle. Seymour is the compass. He's my moral compass. Yep. 
This is... Ah, of course. I mean, we didn't really think that that was gonna go any other way than like a senseless, easy to avoid death. Did we? Just so that we're on the same page. That's right. Follow C more for more C. 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 It did. <sighs> now it's time to play for real. This is the real thing. No more warming up. Not for me. This is it. It's called hitting the spider with the rock. It's what we call that move. But the snake. I'm gonna be able to blow that up to get. I think I could. Could have. All my bombs. Did he die? Thank goodness. I didn't need those bombs anyway. Not where the door is. That is. And there it is. There we are. It's a store. I'm gonna go there and spend some money. I want that. I want the climbing gloves and a parachute. Look at that. We're on our way, folks. I'll go back and get those bombs. You know, I could use them, actually. I'm gonna use all, all my ropes to get them. Every rope. You know what they say, you gotta spend rope to make bombs. Right? I know what I'm doing. Oh, 
Plus I had to climb in clubs, so I didn't even need to spin the ropes. I'm an idiot. Why do you guys even watch this stream? Are you guys watching? Are you guys watching this stream because I'm an idiot? Wait a minute. You guys aren't making fun of me, are you? You don't watch this stream to watch me like... You're watching Seymour? Yeah. Oh. Some people watch It's Me, I'm Alex to watch me. Oh. I've got my fans. I know you do. Well, that just... Leonard Gang. All right, this is the last Spelunky because I'm at my wit's end with the Spelunky tonight. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna give it my all. It just means it has to be good. It has to be the one. Not this one, but the, the the next one. That one was cursed from the start. And so, do over. I, I don't. Bean Talk is coming back. We get lots of letters, people writing in saying, Alex, when's. When's Bean Talk coming back? We want to hear your thoughts on beans, peas. That's about it that we discuss on Bean Talk. But. Dang it. I just don't think that I guess tonight wasn't the night the spelunky night you know some nights I'm I go into it thinking that's that it's gonna be it but it wasn't Got a little more time, I think. I think I'm gonna play Mario Kart. To, you know, see what I can do there. Mario Cardi There's still levels I haven't gotten the trophies on. No, it's it's hard to talk to bees. They never keep their word on the, you know. 
I've never had a never met an honest bee. Still some pretty CCs. Couldn't get what all the buzz is about. I see what you did there. Bees are trying. I'm not, you know, and most bees don't sting you. It's the wasp. It's the wasp that be stinging people. Where should I be? It's so ridiculous. Metal Mario? Why? Why? What about Sniff It from Mario 2? Or Wart? Why not Wart? Why can't Wart be in a Mario Kart game? Wart's the deal with that. Right? Seriously, though. Wart is the deal with Nintendo not using Wart. I know Wart was from Doki Doki Panic, kinda. And Mario and Link streams, I get it. But so do the Shy Guys, right? Wart's the deal with that. Got all the puns, Logie. But I got a few in my pocket. So, Wart only exists in Mario's dreams, so we can't have Wart Mario Kart. But we can have Mario, we can have Metal Mario, Baby Mario, and. It's just ridiculous. Who's that behind us? Oh, we got Link and Splatoon people. I don't play Splatoon. Better pick someone. Pink Gold Peach. Like... Like, there's things in Mario 1 that aren't driving the car like... Buzzy Beetle. Or a spiny, right? Can't you see? Because they got a shy guy, so it's not like you, they can't have bad guys. They could have a, a spiny, or a buzzy beetle, or a para beetle. What about the same way a shy guy drives? Don't look. Look at the shy guy's arms. It's just like. Can't be any better than a Spiny's little feet. Or those Spike dudes from Mario 3. You know what I'm talking about? They, they spit up the balls and throw them at you. They'd be... They'd be perfect. But... All right. Better pick someone. Um, who's? Dry Bones did defeat us on the court, but Baby Bowser, Dry Bowser. Ooh, a Goomba. There's just... I'm going with Ludwig. He's my favorite Koopa kid. And we unlocked the Zelda bike. I'm going to take that.
And there's tires. Go with the Zelda. Have I played all of these? Are those haven't been released? So I've played all of those that have been released, I guess. I got this special cup. I don't have a trophy in, I guess. Maybe on the next Mario Kart, they'll put Benedict from Animal Crossing, maybe Gaston. Or, you know, why not all 500 or so Animal Crossing animals? Why not? It's downloadable content. 99 cents and they can also you can also download funky kong from donkey kong as downloadable racer but you can only have 10 unlocked at once probably something like that Animal Crossing RC. Funky is the one with the flying surfboard, I believe. So, Funky brings Funky mode. I'm told. We're in the skies now. The sky's the limit. I hope in the next Mario Kart that they add a whole bunch of exposition and words like they had in that tennis game that we played where we spent more time reading the backstory than playing tennis and then the tennis was super hard and I couldn't even get through the tutorial because of how bad I was at playing it I bet they will have Mario Kart, the Mario Kart move in the Mario movie. He'll, he's Chris Pratt's gonna be like, "Hey, why don't we go get in the Mario Kart? Let's 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 come to the Mario Kart. Let's go. Time to go in the Mario Kart." Tingle would be a good choice. That's the thing. We got gold peach, but no tingles. I mean, not even Zelda herself, right? Like, if we're going to have Link. Why have baby Daisy when we can have Zelda or anyone? Hey, I'm gonna go caught now over some Koopas. Mystical Ninja, I don't think I'm familiar with that. I'm fine with a bunch of baby penguins, the more the merrier. 
I say. Yahoo! No blue shell! No! No! Dang it. Always taking me down. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Let's -a go. Time to go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yep. Yep. Here we go. To the Mushroom Kingdom. There we are. Gold charge and chuck. At least they have charge and chuck. That's like up the alley of Dr. Bowser. Why? So they're just kind of Nobody should have ever given Bowser a medical license at all. He should be disbarred from the medical community for his heinous acts of sabotage and debauchery. White Birdo? What is that? It's just a birdo that's not pink, but white. Am I to understand that? Like, what game is white birdo from? Bowser. I don't think Bowser did a Chicago sunroof. The blooper did a Chicago sunroof on the screen. It's called a Mushroom Kingdom uh, sunroof. Here we go. You think it'd be a, oh, like a, you think Bowser should be a proctologist? Isn't that a butt doctor? Santa Bowser? Ninja guy, shy guy. So like, what about the? Isn't there a character the from Super Mario Two, the ninjas that are kind of like I see. a shy guy with a sword. Gotcha. I won that one by the skin of my shrimp. Hiker? Are they charging 
Are they figuring out a way to charge people money for all these skins? Is that why they exist? They're not doing it for free, right? Like, people are buying cart bucks to somehow. Wait, yes to which part? Oh, the jumping in brick blocks from Mario 3. This should be a character. I agree with that. Cost money. Wow. What if I want Dr. Pirate Bowser, King Mario, Knight Luigi? They're just sitting over in Nintendo headquarters with like an uh, occupation spreadsheet like proctologist bowser i can't who was it that said proctologist bowser one of you said that i'm not still in your joke or whatever logie Sailor Daisy. That's okay, I have invasive thoughts too. It's tough when you're an internet streamer and you gotta talk, but you gotta watch what you say you know flipping flapjacks see I just say whatever comes out of my mouth and it sometimes is flipping flapjacks and that's why we have been talked to is that an invasive thought thing do y'all really want to talk about beans I'll say what I say every time beans comes up I'm not that into them not my favorite I don't mind pork and beans, I guess, but even then. No blue shell, dang it, right over a dang, like, Mario in an airplane. Well, that one kind of makes sense, at least, because he was an a aviator in Super Mario Land, right? Second place. Tomato beans? What is a volan dam? What is that? I don't even. They're just making up words now, right? can't mean anything much I just it's a fishing town and the Netherlands what is going on I guess you know Representing the people, I guess. I believe it was Bob Dylan who said, You gotta serve somebody.
一号，一号，一号。一号。嗯嗯、Here we go. The hills are alive with the sound of music. This is a rainbow level. How is this a rainbow? I mean, I kind of see some rainbow spectrums, sort of. But not really. You know? Like... I mean, this... It's like the dullest rainbow I've ever seen. It's like a popsicle that someone's already been sucking on and they sucked all the popsicle juice out of it and this is all that's left. Yeah. Here we go. There's 160 drivers in Mario Kart. Thirty-two me costumes, and gold Mario, who's only playable in a specific mode. I'm all turned around. I don't even. I don't know. That at the last minute. Leonard, your big old comment took that chat off the screen and I can't see it out of the corner of my eye. I'm gonna have to scroll up after I finish playing it. Playing this to see what it says. Thanks a lot, Leonard Bot. Oh, you feel like it caters to photosensitive people, which you can appreciate. Thank you, Logie. Maybe that is what's going on. Some people are photosensitive. Not everything has to be bright and shiny, huh? You see, that's what character development is, right? Like when I started playing this, you know, race, I was like, this race, this, this, um, you know, sucks because it's not all bright and garish. It's all dull and pastel. And then by the end of it, I'm like, 
Well, you know, that's fine. Because some people, you know, don't need all of the uh, garish colors. So, am I being edgy? I don't know about that. But, maybe I am. Did I... What do I get? I should get, like, first place, right? Yeah, ha 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho. I think we did it. We did. Three stars. Here we go. Look at me go. All right. Well. Ah. Uh, Slap um slap it's the end horn that sound it means it's time to go and I don't wanna cause that was a fun episode but you know when the horn goes off means it's time to go for the night but that was a lot of fun grace isn't sick but you know we were all sick around here and she didn't want to get sick so she chose to wear a mask because one of her relatives is high risk or something so like you know she doesn't want to like carry the Smea Malik's diseases that we have going on here sometimes to her relatives so yeah thank you for watching everyone yeah yeah, I thank you guys very much for watching. I think you're very welcome. We'll be back tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, I think. Thank you, Logie. I think we're on the, the good path of feeling better. I feel we feel way better today than we did last week when people were going to the hospital and stuff so you know that's a big upgrade so I'm pretty stoked about that we will be back tomorrow and probably the day after that it's me I'm Alex it's like you know, gonna be streaming all the time. I'm not talking about myself in third person. I don't call myself, it's me, I'm Alex. That's the name of my show. My name is Alex. My username on Twitch is, it's me, I'm Alex, but, which I guess is sort of an identifier, but, you can just call me Alex. 
like if there's ever a twitch con and i'm there walking around you can be like you don't have to be like look it's it's me i'm alex because grammatically that sounds kind of messed up so just be like alex I know there's multiple Alex's, but we'll have a big, you know, battle royale and sort it out. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget. Goodbye.